Welcome to the leukemia tapes, so-called, because I'm taping this while on chemotherapy for acute leukemia at Vanderbilt Hospital. Um, let's leap into this because it's really hard to fit this into three minutes. We've all read in the book of Acts about how the early church used to share everything. In Acts chapter 2, it says all that, were, all that believed were together and had all things in common. They sold their possessions and goods and divided them among everyone as each one had need. In Acts chapter 4, we read the multitude of the believers were of one heart and one soul. None of, them, none of them said that any of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And it's generally said that this only happened in Jerusalem. And in fact, most of us prefer for that to be true. We have all kinds of excuses and reasons for not wanting to do this wonderful fellowship among the saints who have the Holy Spirit and who are empowered with love from heaven, who ought to be delighted at the opportunity to be family and share with one another. Instead, we make all sorts of excuses. Am I allowed to have a computer? Do I am I allowed to have my own clothes? What about, what about, what about? What about us being excited about being a part of God's family and what that really means? The fact is that didn't end in Jerusalem. 70 years later, there's a church manual called the Didache and another book that was written called The Letter of Barnabas, that these were read by many churches. And this is about 70 years after Jerusalem, and we read, Never turn away the needy. Share all your possessions with your brother, and do not claim that anything is your own. If you and he are joint participators in what is immortal, how much so, more so in things that are mortal? And then there's a couple of apologies from the second century. Apologies are defenses of the faith where Christians wrote to the emperor and said, here's what Christianity is like. We're not criminals, we're good people. And this was a general description of Christianity about a hundred years after Jerusalem. We who valued above all things the acquisition of wealth and possessions now bring what we have into a common stock and share with everyone in need. We who hated and destroyed one another and on account of their different customs would not live with men of a different tribe. Now, since the coming of Christ, live familiarly with them. Another 50 years later, Tertullian, in another apology, writes, It is mainly the deeds of a love so noble that caused many to put a brand upon us. See, they say, how they love one another, how they are ready even to die for one another. The family possessions, which generally destroy brotherhood among you Romans, create fraternal bonds among us. One in mind and soul, we do not hesitate to share our earthly goods with one another. All things are common among us, except our wives. For us, this ought to be a promise, not a threat. 